so in this video we are going to discuss about the chemo autotrophs okay so what are chemo autotrophs we are going to discuss about the chemo autotroph bacteria okay so as it is all on the previous video we discuss about the uh, photosynthetic bacteria okay uh, the mode of nutrition was uh, comprised of two groups first was the photosynthetic bacteria and the chemo autotroph bacteria so as it is all known in the previous video we have discussed about the <coughs> um heterotrophs and the autotrophs both but here we are going to discuss about the chemo autotrophs okay so what is chemo chemo word is derived from the chemical in autotroph which means that the bacteria which can synthesize their food so the bacteria synthesize the food by using of the chemical we are calling it a chemo autotroph okay so <clears throat> the how the they will synthesize the food by doing the oxidation mean which means loss of electron which means to oxidize the inorganic or the organic chemical they will oxidize that and they will synthesize the food from that chemical we are calling as a chemo autotrophs okay so the if when they will oxidize the organic or inner organic compound okay and the energy that will be released from there so they will be use that energy to make the energy to make the biosynthetic process like carbohydrate and these all okay synthetic um process okay so first type of chemo autotroph we are having that is a sulfur sulfomones sulfomonas <coughs> okay so if you talk about the sulfomona which means they are the sulfur bacteria and they basically oxidize the sulfur okay so for example i'm having the equation okay so they will oxidize the elementary elemental sulfur okay into the sulfuric acid okay or oxidize the um, sulfur into the um, hydrosulfur into the that one uh, you can say that the sulfuric sulfur for example um, h2s plus f4 oxygen 2h2 and plus 2 sulfur okay so they are having the two re two parts first if they will be if they are oxidizing the <coughs> elementary sulfur and they that is oxidized into the sulfuric acid and the energy that will be released from that they will use the this energy to make the uh, biosynthesis process okay or they will oxidize the uh, this one h2s okay hydrogen sulfur and they that will convert into the elemental sulfur and the energy that will be released that will be used into that biosynthesis process so they are the sulfur mona which means these are the sulfur bacteria which basically oxidize the sulfur and convert into the sulfuric acid or they will oxidize the hydrogen sulfur into the sulfur okay if we talk about the example of that bacteria we are having that is a theo bacillus theo bacillus okay second we are having that is the hydromonas hydromonas bacteria what are hydromonas bacteria which means they are the hydrogen bacteria okay and they will do what they will let me write the equation okay they will do what they will be oxidize the molecular hydrogen into the water and the energy will be released they will use to make their uh, food okay so they are the hydromonas which means they are the hydrogen bacteria they basically oxidize the hydrogen and the energy that is released from that they basically use for uh, that energy for the food okay if we talk about the example of that bacteria we are having that is the pseudomonas this is a bacteria 
that is the hydrogen bacteria so this was about the sulfomonas and the hydromonas further we are having four more ferromonas nitromonas carbon monas um, carbon bacteria and methane bacteria that we'll be discussing in the next video this is the part two and in the second part we will discuss the remaining um, chemoautotroph bacteria